Washington State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. makes his way to about the 38. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Third down again. The cavalry's coming, and down he goes at about the 41. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. Booming kick. Harris takes it to 15, gets to about the 27-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Off balance throw got him anyway. And they make the stop at the 28 yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings us second to nine. And he's hit immediately. Now, the passing game is a lot easier for a quarterback when two corners aren't in coverage. I respect the gutsy call on the defensive side to blitz both corners, but it left him too vulnerable against the pass. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. tackled around the 49-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Gets it. He's in space, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 44. The offense gets a first down here. you got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football, and try to get your own offense to ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. Get to that quickly. That's a great tackle at the 30-yard line. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. 
And this is the tenth play of the drive. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 73-yard drive, and they've come away with a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Crane has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He fights forward to about the 26. Pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From their own 26-yard line. Third down. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he is drilled at the 25. the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Throws it in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 47. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. Washington State up seven points. He's pushed out of bounds at the 42-yard line. drops an interception and what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver you wonder why you're not playing wide receiver because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back quick release oh had it knocked down he just floated that one up there kirk well the ball hung up there a little bit quarterback has to be careful throwing that type of pass because they're vulnerable to interceptions you almost saw it right there he's going to try to cough and corner this one Oh, excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Washington State's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Get to the back and hit hard for a loss. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. He gets to about the 27-yard line.
He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 28. He goes out of bounds around the 31 yard line. to about the 34-yard line. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Harris takes it at the 23. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Washington State is up by a touchdown. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Slings it. Tackle made at the 43. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at the 39. Almost picked off. From the 39 yard line. Second down. And he's tackled at the 25 yard line. Taken down immediately. That'll make it second and four. End zone. Finds a man. Touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. A seven play, 71 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Crane is lined up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 22 yard line. Washington State's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they can shut this offense out. Taken down in the backfield. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Tackle around the 27-yard line. That's a game that made on the play. That'll bring up third. 
Slings it out and it gets tipped. Rodriguez is the punter. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 48. The Cougars really could have uh, overlooked this team today, I think, very easily, but they haven't done that so far. No, you can't take anybody too lightly, and they've obviously not done that. They come out of the gate today and really put a lot of points up on the board. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Throwing right, stays in bounds to make a nice catch. change ends of the field I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome 14 nothing Washington State and we welcome you back to the action here just about set to start the second quarter caught out in the open and he tackles him hard at the 12 yard line Hits him hard at the nine-yard line. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Cougars. And he converts the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. He airs it out. Almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Harris is back deep to return the punt. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Harris takes it to 28, and he's tackled at the 36. 
you think about the challenges these two teams are facing on one side you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead and on the other side you've got to find a way to get back in it he chucks it downfield the defender had his hands on it but it's incomplete Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Fires it out. And down he goes around the 39-yard line. Under heavy pressure. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Lindsay will be the return man. He really got a hold of that one. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And they get nice yardage on that run. And they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop them for a loss of one. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 26. Here we go. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's taken down at the 40. down after a nice run up the middle. He might have a chance. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it first and ten. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at about the 37-yard line. First down. He's tackled behind the line. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 37. Five wide. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds around the 33-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a nice run, but it's short of the first down. Good play by the defense to stop him just short. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Out of bounds around the 25-yard line. Short picks him up about three yards with a catch. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. Got it and brought down immediately. That'll make it second and four. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he's scrambling. 
He's tackled at about the 11. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. He makes the PAT. It was a 14-play, 78-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. The score now, 21-7. Taken down by the kicker. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down right around the 40. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's pushed out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Decent run here, right side. He makes his way to about the 42. Yard line. Tackle made around the eighteen yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Crane gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. They come out in a five-wide set. Now he's flushed, and they got him. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. He steps out at the 28. On 
on the ground, and he won't get back to the line. And the defensive end comes up with a big play. Boy, he's quick as a cat, no question. He got tremendous penetration and was able to wrap him up for a loss there. Rodriguez to punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Harris takes it at the 32. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Washington State's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He throws it. From the 48-yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Steps out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. Rifles it left. The defender had it and then dropped it. Number 12, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third into 10. Three down, three down. Watch the move, 12, watch the move, 12. Here we go. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they pick up two yards. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I gotta say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Here they come. Rose, and that one's gonna hit the ground incomplete. This quarterback needs to give his playmakers a chance to make plays. He's gotta be sure he gets the ball in their hands. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. After a decent run up the gut. Looks to his receiver, first down. And he's tackled at the 42. So we've played two quarters. The Cougars in front, 31-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. He's to the 40. Wide out, makes the first down catch. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. their own 46 yard line it's first down quick throw tackle around the 49 yard line that makes it second and six the 33 we've got a first and 10 ball on the 33 they come out in an empty backfield loose football the defense has it Kirk. Well, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Makes the catch and look out. And they make the stop at the 15. Solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. First down, and they come to the line with a first and goal. They come out in a goal line set. Nice run up the middle.
He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third and goal. One yard to the goal line. They're packed in tight on the line. Fires quickly, the tight end, touchdown! And that throw for six gives him four touchdowns. Well, he's shown such great poise back there in the pocket. That's the main reason he's been able to find the end zone so many times. And he hits the PAT. kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's hammered down. The Cougars continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. He's hit and taken down. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Here we go. Oh, it almost picked off. From their own 34-yard line, second down. He's hit immediately. Fires it quickly. This one will fall incomplete. Rodriguez is waiting for the snap. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, he's putting up huge numbers, and I think you can go back and look at every throw that he's made. It's like a human highlight film in one football game. We'll see what else he has in store for this defense as they look to tack on more points. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. You know, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. That'll bring up second and 15. It's second and 15. Ball on the 23-yard line. Washington State with a big advantage. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 26-yard line. That brings up third and 12. He's tackled at about the 49. down 10 yards to go ball on the 49 looks like the defense played the run that time with this offense you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation First and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. 
Throws a bullet over the middle. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. the 17-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 17. Hands it to the back. He's taken down right around the 8-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Washington State up big right now in this one. Tackle made at the one. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. Receiver got it for the touchdown. You know, this entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Beavers are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for you. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Here we go! Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. Harris will be the return man. Booming kick. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Nice yardage on the run back. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That was a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 29-yard line, second down, Washington State. Up by a big margin. He's out of bounds around the 33-yard line. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. you got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. Looks to the back and can't connect. Lindsey is the deep man awaiting the return. And he's tackled at the 37. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. 
Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Oh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. He fights forward to about the 10. The back hits three on the carry. Gets to about the eight yard line. There's a strike complete. And he tackles him hard at the six-yard line. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. The kick is up, and he got it. Oregon State ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Washington State comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. Fires across the middle. Tackle at about the 33 yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. to go. Washington State's got a huge lead. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Got a man complete and he's hit hard. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And they get nice yardage on that run. five-yard line. First down. Washington State looking to add to this big lead here. He's tackled in the open field. And this is the eighth play of the drive.
feeds it to the back. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. And down he goes at about the 19-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Taken down to the backfield. They'll line it up again on third down. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. This will just add insult to injury. Kicks up. And they tack on three points. Crane has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And what a play by the kicker to take him down. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they make the stop at the 37-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Looking for the corner, Harris fields it at the 24. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Washington State looking to put this game away if they score here. There's a strike complete, he's down. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 34. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Green tailback's got it. He's pushed out of bounds around the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of about two. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. is back deep to return the punt. They'll bring him down at the 24. 
I don't expect any once in a lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. He's in trouble. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Third and ten coming up. Ball on their own 24. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Pressure coming. He wants it all. The defender had it and then dropped it. Rodriguez awaits the snap. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Washington State with a commanding lead. He's tackled around the 47-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. right and hit in the backfield. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss, but this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. He's at the 30, and he is drilled at the 27-yard line. And that's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, Washington State 48, Oregon State 10. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Well, it looks like we called this one right. Oregon State really had their work cut out for themselves today, and they just weren't able to get it done. They just didn't have the firepower to match up with the talented athletes on the other side of the ball. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curve Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.